Hey, it's me, a wild kitty up here, and welcome to Remember, Remember. So yes, this is the demo of it, so obviously it's not the full game, but I thought I'd pl play it at least since it is a horror game and it is Halloween. So yes, this game was made by the same person who made Seduce Me 1 and Seduce Me 2, who was Michaela Laws. Also, another person who's wor helped to work on the game is Ethan Ethan Nakashima, who voiced one of the characters in Seduce Me. If you were fans of Seduce Me, you obviously know who that is. But he's also helped make the game. And yeah, there will be, if you are again, know the series, there will be, from what I know, there's two voices I've heard who are familiar. But others, not so much. But anyways, yes. Let's get into Remember, Remember. Right, let's go. Chris! Chris! Eh? Don't go out too far, you two! I won't. Uh, that sounds like such a cute little voice. Watch over her, Chris! Yeah, I know. Come on, let's go! Hey, wait up! <sighs> Alright. Where am I? Good question. <laughs> what the? Where am I? What's going on? Okay, so what I'm, I've seen, we seem to be playing as Chris, I'm guessing. I mean, there's no one else in the room, so yeah. This time around, the main protagonist does have a voice, who is voiced by Aleandro's sub, or Kagi, if you want to call him that. God, why does it smell like bleach in here? So the main character talks, but not in her voices. So yeah, interesting. Well, again, that's usually the case in most of these kind of games. There's, I always find it funny because when it's like a male talking and then when it's a female playing, reading out, it just sounds funny to me. Anyways, wasn't I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. Nope, the car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Oh, great. That sounds great. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. Now how are we going to get there? I don't walk. Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. Hmm. Did you do anything else yesterday? No. I gassed it up before I went home. Hmm. Very odd. Guys, we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. That's a 30 minute walk. We'd be late. Again, fair enough. It's better than not being there at all. Hmm. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Yeah. Yeah, let's just speed walk or something. Sounds fair. Huh? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. Hmm. Sorry guys, just taking a wee drink. Hmm. Oh my gosh, yes! You are a lifesaver! Huh? Who are you? Chem Major. Don't even worry about it. Come on! Um... I have a question. I would trust this. I mean, again, that's just me, because I'm paranoid as F, but that's usually a good idea to be paranoid. I don't know. I'm with Peter on this one. Oh, come on. I got room, I promise. Hop in. Yeah, right. You can walk if you want. I'm getting in the van. Oh, are you now? Me too! Wait up! But, okay, guys, this guy has a van. Does this not... Freaking scream out alarm bells to you. No, just me. Okay. Well, it's better than being late. Actually, I'd rather be late. <sighs> Chris, you coming? Well, it looks like we said yes for some strange reason. I he drove us all. Then why am I here? Because he obviously kidnapped us. Damn it. Oh shit. What about the others? Rosa! Lisa! Peter! Xavier! I gotta find him. What the? This place is huge. Looks like it. Hold on, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Is this some kind of medical facility? Everything looks clean and stellar. What kind of person owns this place? This is all sorts of messed up. Giant TV. Huh? An elevated console? Looks like it's... What is this game? 
What is this, a game? It's like a kid's drawing or something. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. What, what is this? Good question, Chris. All right, or wasn't it? All right, let's see. Rawr. The monster's going to eat you and your friends. You can't eat them if I protect them with a magical flower crown. Oh. I guess I have to take these flowers to the toys? Well, I'm guessing. All right, let's see. All right, let's go here. Oh. Got you. Damn it. Ah, I have no flowers to protect me. Okay. Oh, we don't have to do that all over again. That sounds good. All right. All right. Got it to that bunny. Now let's. Got you. Ah, I have no flowers to protect me. Fuck. All right. Try this again. All right. Got. Got the flowers. So is this gonna be basically this will be the gameplay? I'm guessing. I'm guessing obviously it's gonna be a lot harder, but this is just the tutorial. Alright. Brother! Oh. Where did you go? Interesting. Uh still playing. Uh, What's going on? Huh? What's that? Okay, so we're obviously to go over there. Interesting. I just skipped that. I'm sorry. I, can I go back? No, I can't. That was extremely weird. What kind of game was that? Why was it even here? Fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh? There are more rooms along the walls. Are the rest of them in the other rooms? Well, I might as well pick one to check. Alright, room selection. Um, I'm guessing let's see again i've seen like the the art style obviously so i know characters because i've seen both trailers so i think that's meant to be rosa lisa xavier i think and peter um let's see who are we gonna go for let's go for let's just go for rosa because i know that voice is michaela so why not <laughs> This room looks just like me. Oh my God! Is that Rosa? Rosa! <sighs> Rosa! Rosa! Wake up! <sighs> huh? Chris? Rosa, are you okay? Am I right? Yeah, I think. Well, no. What happened? I'm not Rosa. What am I talking? What am I talking about? I'm gonna be Chris. I don't know. Chris, I. Ugh. My head is pounding. Oh, I bet it could be. Sorry. I panicked when I saw you and tried to wake you up. It's all right. <laughs> Al, are you okay? I think so. Yeah, I guess. I just woke up a little bit ago. Yeah. I'm thankful that Rose is okay. I hope the others are too. That's good, though. Here, let me help you stand. Uh, thanks, Chris. Where are we? That is a good question, Rosa. I don't know. It's like some sort of bunker or something. Ugh, this place is just creepy. Why did we wake up here? Oh. Uh, I don't know that either. Uh, where's Lisa? Xavier? Peter? Again, I don't know. Calm down. I haven't seen them. Uh, this is too creepy. I want to go home. Me too, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Me too, Rosa. We gotta find everyone else first. The others might be in the other rooms I found. Other rooms? Yeah. We'll find our way out together once we find- What the heck was that? Oh my god, was that Xavier? Is someone dead already? Yeah, it sounded like him. Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I second that emotion. Rosa! Chris! You're both okay! Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, what happened? We don't know. We just woke up. <sighs> no, I just want this damn thing off. What thing? This thing. OK. 
Okay. So we all have these weird bracelets on. Except, I think the one with the gold one is definitely our arm because you can see the blue thing, the blue arm, like the blue, you know, the blue jumper we have on. So obviously that's us. So we have the gold one. That's interesting. I wonder if that means anything. All of us had it. They all looked like they were welded on us. But I had the only gold bracelet. I have that same bracelet! What is it? No one's going to address the fact that mine's gold. Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. Oh, well maybe you shouldn't have done that then. It feels like it was welded on our wrists. Hmm. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot! Why did you even try to break it? I don't know. Just to see if it worked. Shut the hell up. <laughs> it won't come off! Come on! Hey, don't mess with it too much. It might shock you too. Fair enough. Yeah, right! Ugh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? Mm hmm. How the hell should we know? We were all drugged! Yeah. Guys! Now's not the time to go crazy! We need to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. The girls seem really shaken up by it. I don't blame them. Xavier got electrocuted. P Peter's right. Okay, so are we going to calm Rosa and Lisa down? Check on Xavier or support Peter. Well, I get that the girls are probably freaking, freaking out. Xavier's just been electrocuted. But I think the best thing to do here is probably support Peter. Because, we, because again, he's basically being the voice of reason at the moment. So it's probably best to listen to him. And maybe it'll calm everybody down, hopefully. Peter's right. We need to work together and try to find a way out. If we put our heads together, I'm sure we'll find a way for, for out for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. No problem. But what if there isn't a way out? Um... I don't know. There has to be. We all had to come in here somehow. That most likely will be our way out. And uh, fair enough, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Something about this place is off. It's like the bunker was designed for us. Interesting. Were we really targeted? If so, why? So, any ideas on where to start looking? Um, looking for an exit, probably? That's a stupid question. What do you mean? It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Jesus, that door's big. That's the biggest door in the room. That has to be the exit. Well, I would guess so, yeah. Then let's just go! Rosa, look again. Oh crap, the laser grid. I barely noticed it. Huh? That is a scary laser grid. It's very loud laser grid, too. Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch it. I'm gonna take a guess and go yes. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Peter, go touch it. No! What? Fuck you! You go touch it. Xavier! Never know what it does until you try it out. Yeah, but I'd rather not have one of one of our friends fried cooked, thank you very much. That's not funny! It's too dangerous to try! So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or are unlocked electronically. In other words, we're stuck here and we're back to square one. This is way too fucked up. I agree. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? Someone who has a lot of time on their hands, Lisa. The guy who kidnapped us. That too. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? And this is why we do not offer... Do not take rides from strangers. Go on, we learned this stuff in primary school. Well, I guess in your case it might be elementary school, but that's not the point. Who else could have done it? He had the perfect opportunity. Yes, he did. And we took the bait, like the stupid teenagers that we are. But he looked like us! He looked like he came from our school! As much as I want to agree, anyone could buy our school logo m merchandise and pretend to be a student. God, if it's that easy, someone could, anyone could enter the school without a second thought. Jeez. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? That is a good question there, Peter. You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. Yeah. I still don't understand. Why us? I don't know. Yeah, 
If this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. Why all of us? That's a good question. Because he's some freak of nature! It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out! Yes, that sounds like a plan, Lisa. Now do you have a plan on how we're gonna get out? No? Okay. We can't, though. That door seems to be our only way out, and it's apparently locked from the other side. Hmm. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. Alright, sounds like a plan. You know, Lisa could be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. Well, yeah, you know, you gotta take all- you gotta take all that you can find and see if there's any other way of getting out. Even though I'm pretty sure the guy would have thought of that who kidnapped us, but that's just me. I still think that the door is our only way out. As much as I hate to agree, I think I'll probably have to agree with Xavier here. It probably is our only way out. We can't be sure until we check. But again, Rose has got a point. Alright, let's just spread out and see what we can find. This entire place gives me the creeps. Like, it was built specifically for us. Alright, so... Again, that's Rosa, Peter, hmm, let's see, we went with Rose la Rosa last time, we supported Peter, so either Lisa or Xavier, I don't like Xavier, but Lisa seems alright, so let's go with Lisa. Huh? A kitchen? In a place like this? What the? My thoughts exactly. Why would there be a kitchen here? Well, I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna, you know, we need to eat. Doesn't, doesn't know how long we're gonna be stuck in here. Everything looks brand new, too. Electric stove, counters, fancy sink. Hmm. It's like everything was set up for us. Look, even the fridge is stocked. Hey, at least we have food. Water, frozen food, pudding. Even the cabinets have canned food. There is food in here for weeks. What the hell? Yeah. Ugh. Whoever this sick freak is, they are really messed up in the head. I have to agree. You got that right. Why kidnap us and stick us in a place like this? Yeah. Whoever also kidnapped us must be loaded. Who gives a crap why? They don't care about us. All we have to do is get out somehow. Yeah. You're right. We need to... But yeah, you're right. Thank you. At I... least you agree with me, Chris. Well, I mean, yeah, we need to find a way to get out of here. I think everyone pretty much wants to get out of here. I don't see why I wouldn't. Exactly! Well, I didn't see any exits in there. Did you? Nope. Nope. Uh, guys? That doesn't look good. Static on TV is never a good thing in horror games or m horror movies. Huh? What is it? Look. <laughs> TV's on. But what is that? Good morning, little insects. Did you call us insects? Excuse me? Insects? What the hell? Did, Did you enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds? Oh, I truly hope so. Whoever you are, let us out! No, oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Not yet? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Creepy mask thing. My, my, so many questions. And you haven't answered any of mine. How rude. Well, I mean, if you're gonna trap a bunch of people in a place, they have more questions for you than you have questions for them. Just saying. Why the hell should we answer you? You trapped us in here! Yeah, exactly. For good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So... Did you all enjoy your ride here? No, we didn't. Ah, see? At least one of you has manners. I apologize, however, that you didn't enjoy your trip here. We were kidnapped. Obviously, I was not going to enjoy my trip. Chris, why would you even answer this lunatic? It's the polite thing to do? Or because I wanted to tell him straight to his face that it was uncomfortable being kidnapped? So straightforward. Though I expected nothing less from the Monarch Butterfly. The what what now? Monarch Butterfly? Now we have pet names? Apparently so. Of course. All of you have wonderful little nicknames. They match you perfectly, I assure you. I'm sure, yes. That is messed up. Very messed up. That tells us one thing, though. 
What is that, Xavier? What are you talking about? This free kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. Fair enough, yeah? So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping? Nope, doesn't look like it. If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I will bitch slap you. Ooh, someone has a temper. But why us, though? It's for a good reason. I promise. I okay. There is no good reason for kidnapping people! Yeah. Like, whatsoever. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Like what, you mysterious mask thing? Like what? Opportunity. Opportunity? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Yes, this is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. What truth? The truth? What truth? I'll say this. A couple of you have been very, very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. That thing seriously creeps me out. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Yeah, that's a good question. Why do some of us not deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. Okay. And now he's calling himself a bird. This is nuts. Yeah. If you know the truth, then why not tell us? Is he calling us a, him, himself a bird because we only heard our nickname so far? So are we all sort of related to insects in a way? Like, and that's why he's like the bird and you know, birds are the biggest threat to insects. Again, we've only known that we're a butterfly of some sort, but we don't know about the others yet. Where's the fun in just giving out answers? It would make things a lot more simpler? How does locking us in here get people to confess? That is a good point there. There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets. Like the truth of the past. I would say it's probably very easy to keep secrets from someone. Because, I mean, if you don't want to tell someone, someone a certain thing, then probably you're not going to tell them no matter how long you're stuck in a place. Alright. If anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Oh, Peter, 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 Peter. Do you really think it's gonna be that simple? Really, Peter? Yeah. Oh, Peter. If only it were that simple. Of course, I'd already taken into consideration that the truth would remain persistently hidden, despite the environment. After all, the truth is so terrible. The ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. Fair enough. You're making no sense! Do you want us to find out the truth or not? Oh, I do. I very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. What do you mean by that? Extra measures? Yeah. Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? That's easy. We... We... How did we become friends? Oh. Interesting. I can't remember. Huh? How could we forget? That is a good question again. Why can't we remember how we became friends? Um... Eh. <laughs> I've always been so curious what Alter Propanolo can do to the human mind. I don't even know what that is, but I'm guessing we're about to find out. WHAT DID YOU DO TO US?! Nothing terrible. I simply locked away your long-term memories. With a little sedative. You can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Okay, but I mean, if that's the case, shouldn't we not know... who we are? Like, we shouldn't know who our friends are? Again, I don't know. That seems kind of weird to me, but... Well, long-term, so... But again, yeah, we should, why, we should, we should know who we are then. Or who our friends are. We should all be confused and going, who the hell are you? But okay, I'm guessing it, they'll explain it more, but I'm still confused. Propanol, you made a beta blocker sedative for drug-induced amnesia. 
Okay. Very good, Rosa. As expected from a medical student. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. Well, I mean, she's a medical student, so I'm sure she must know it. Why would you do that? So many questions! Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. The dude tried to slam the bracelet into a wall which was obviously steel and got himself electrocuted. How is he the smart one? I will break this TV! And again, he seems to have very a lot of serious anger issues. So, again, is he really the smart one? I would probably say either Peter or maybe Rosa, but not a Xavier. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Unless, of course, you're a masochist for electricity. Well, yeah. You fucking sadist! <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. The anger. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Okay. Oh, how are we gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us? Yeah, how exactly are we going to tell each other his secrets if we don't know? Oh, don't panic so quickly. The effects are temporary if left unchecked. How long do they last, then? Well, from the dosages I gave everyone, oh, I would say a week. Maybe two. So we have to stay here until we remember? Looks like it, yes. Think of it like a treasure hunt. All of you get to work together in unlocking the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. Okay. Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. Alright. This person. Who are they? Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. Why am I being pointed out? What? Me? Yeah, what? You are very special, Chris. I cannot wait until the truth is revealed. What will you do, I wonder? Um... You're insane. Yeah, you... Yep, you definitely are, you freaking mask. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? The first game is about to begin. Okay... Huh? Game? Yeah, what? What do you mean? Your special game! Does your generation not enjoy games anymore? That's disappointing. After all of the trouble I went through to make this a fun experience. What are you talking about? Our freaking generation thrives on gaming at the moment. There's nothing fun about being drugged and kidnapped. Peter's got a point. Regardless, Rosa, Lisa, Xavier, and Peter, please make your way to the platform and line up on the red circles. Why the hell should we? Well, I don't know. The threatening mask kind of says that this guy can pretty much... Sh well, he's... He can shock us at any point, so I don't know. I would do as he tells us. You know, just to be on the safe side. Lisa, let's just go. Why? Well, again... This guy can electrocute us, so let's let's just do what he tells us to. Cause that's probably the smart thing to do right now. Lisa, he can electrocute us. Say, just listen to Rosa. Maybe Rosa should be named the smartest one. Then again, Lisa, you were always dim when it came to details. So this person obviously knows Excuse us. Excuse me? Lisa! Just start walking. Yeah. Now, Chris. You get to use the console. Okay. Me? What am I using it for? Good question. You'll see. Alright, we're here. Now what? My, my, so anxious. How about I ease your minds with a little story? Seriously? Apparently so. The tragic tale of a beautiful butterfly. Once, there was a butterfly that wandered too far from its home. It was a gorgeous butterfly indeed. But, little did it know, an evil bird 
was trailing it, hoping to rip apart its wings for fun. That doesn't sound fun to me. What kind of messed up story is that? Do you all like that? No. That's it? <laughs> That's all I'll share for now. Can't give away too much of the story at once. Fair enough. This guy's a lunatic! Do you hear me? You're a lunatic! Think we pretty much figured that out, Lisa. Call me whatever you like, little insect. It doesn't change the fact that you are trapped in my nest. That does not look good at all. What the hell? Hey! Let us out! Guys! What is this? <laughs> Welcome to your first charge, Monarch Butterfly. Your goal is simple. Save your friends from a nasty little bird. Let them out! Now! Oh, only you can do that, Chris. <laughs> the ball is in your court. Will you save them, or leave them to die? You know what? I'm gonna leave them to die. Because why not? No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna be like that person. Let us out! No! Chris, help us! Working on it. Chris, just do what he says, please. Save us! Again, I'm working on it. What kind of fucked up game is this? What the fuck is going on? Guys, look down! Ah! Water! Oh, that doesn't sound good. What the? The tubes are filling up with water? Chris! <laughs> you better hurry! Those tubes are sealed tightly and will fill completely with water if you don't rescue them all in time. Oh, this does not sound good. I have no choice, damn it. I'll save you guys! Don't worry! Oh, this is beyond exciting. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? Let's go. If I don't save them, they'll drown in those tubes. I have to keep my calm and get through this. Still, I have to play this little kid's game to save them. I guess it makes sense. Sort of, kind of. Just run from the- wait. Butterflies. All right. So, all right. Let's see. Oh God. All right. So stay away from that thing. What the hell, man? All right. I've got the bubble at least. So. Oh my god! Oh, for sake, freak, freak's sake, man! All right, I'm here bubble, anyways. All right, I'm closer to him. All right, no problem, man. This is not intense at all. Yes! Right. Thank you! I got help. Problem there, Rosa. You did it, man. Oh shit, I did it. Well done, Monarch. Perhaps you are the person she imagined you to be. Huh? She? She? What do you mean? <clears throat> did my medicine really erase that much of your memory? Apparently so. What are you talking about? He's just being psycho again. Just ignore him. I'm curious of the reaction this will cause. So, I will share a little secret. What? What secret? 
Why do I feel uneasy? Chris, tell us. Do you remember a girl named Sarah? Chris! Chris! Come on! An Amber Alert has just been released for 8-year-old Sarah Meyer. Okay, so again, Sarah, I'm guessing Sarah must be our little sister, I'm guessing. How could we have lost her? I don't know. We'll do what we can to find her, ma'am. Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> so you do remember her. Sarah? Who is Sarah? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say our little sister. I think I remember her. Yeah. Isn't she... My little sister! She went missing years ago, and there's been no sign of her. Wait, you have a little sister? Apparently so. Hmm. The medicine seems to be affecting each of you differently. Interesting. Hmm. Wait! What happened to your sister? <laughs> well then, maybe I should let you all figure that out yourselves. What do you know, Mask? You sick fuck! It was you who took her, wasn't it? That's why you're doing this! Where is she? Ah, if I told you, then you won't play my little game. Besides, I'm not the only one who knows what happened to her. Excuse me? What? The fuck are you going on about? Wait, someone else knows what happened to her? Consider this a gift, Chris. You'll finally be able to discover the truth about the disappearance of your sister. A truth that was hidden beneath your very nose. I truly hope you all enjoy your stay. May you all find the truth of Sarah's disappearance together. <laughs> Okay, so Chris looks really annoyed, but also his face is darkened, so I don't know if he's going insane or not. Find the truth together. That means one or more of my friends know what happened to Sarah, and they've been hiding the truth from me for years. So the kidnapper got us all here so I would finally learn what happened. I don't know whether to be horrified or grieved. Regardless, this is my chance. What happened to Sarah? To be continued. So yes, that is the demo of Remember Remember. Now, I am not going to do any of the, the other choices because it will just take too long. So I would rather you guys go check it out for yourselves. The link will be down there in the description. And also if you like the game, obviously support all the people who are down in below in the links so until we meet again goodbye and happy halloween <laughs>